G'day everyone, welcome back to my channel. Just want to show you my little uh, cable stripper that I've made. It took about 20 minutes to put together, it only cost me about a dollar. I'm assuming it was a dollar because of the blade. But uh, I used scrap angle iron to make it. Here's how it works. The two angle irons are bolted together with these four bolts. I've just used leftover bolts that I was going to scrap. Now I'm going to repurpose them for this use. So, two angle lines put together, and that is a utility knife blade. But the secret is, that hole right there it goes all the way through. I have, in fact, made the bottom hole slightly larger, so the cable does go in easier. And I'll show you what you need to make this. Two pieces of angle. I got these out of the scrap pile. They cost me nothing. You bolt them together. Now these have to have holes already in there, so it's, it's pretty handy. A couple of bolts in there, a couple of bolts in there. That then becomes a nice tight squeeze. You then get your drill bit and drill it down directly through the middle so you come out the other side. Once you've done that, get yourself a blade, set it right in the centre of the hole, do your bolts up, and that's all there is to it. And the finished product is this little monster here. That's the entry hole. That's the exit hole. Now you may notice that the blade is protruding I should say protruding into the hole just a slight bit the reason for that is you want the tip of the blade to score the cable as you pull it through I can give you a quick demo and this is how it's used this would normally be clamped down on my bench but I'll give you a look insert your cable through the hole down the bottom Carefully feed it up, and you will notice it then comes out at the top. Once it's come out the top, grab it with a pair of pliers and proceed to pull it through. That's simple. This cable is about a metre long, or this wire is a metre long, about three feet. And I'll give you a look at what we've got. So then proceed to find an end, split the cable open, I'll find a better end. Split your cable open. like so and then you proceed to separate the outer sheath from the inner copper core and there it goes and there you have it nice and easy quick and very cheap now that is worth three to four times more than if it was still within the sheath. So there you have it. Cable stripper. I estimate cost me less than a dollar. Might cost you a few more dollars if you go out and buy everything. But I don't see any reason why you should spend big bucks on something like this. Keep your eye out open next time you got scrap. You might be able to uh, put something together. Now, as I mentioned, clamp this down on the edge of your workbench and it will do a marvellous job. So once again, here's what you need. Two bits of angle iron, a utility blade, and perhaps some bolts which are easy to find. Clamp it, sandwich it, and away you go. Don't forget, you have to pre-drill that hole before you put the blade in. So, 
sandwich it, drill it, then clamp the blade in. You could, if you like, put multiple holes in there of varying sizes so that you can move this blade into those holes and work on multiple size cables. I have a bundle of that size cable, which is three millimeter, and that's what I'm concentrating on. So I hope this was handy and helpful. Uh, you may have seen this done before, I'm not sure. I actually borrowed this design from a manufactured one that I saw on eBay. I couldn't see the point in waiting two weeks for shipment and paying $40 Australian. So for a dollar, I went out and made one myself. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed and good luck to you. Nice one.